Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 576. Gizmo Dan is a Mac Daily News reader, but on the Apple website, he discovered a nugget of information on the iPhone How To Cleaning iPhone page. It's there that we learned the new iPhone 3GS, which, thanks to a particular Joy of Tech cartoon, I will never be able to think of properly again. Link is in the post for Brief 576 for that. The iPhone 3GS has an oleophobic coating on the screen that makes it resistant to skin oil. iPhones can get fingerprinty, and cleaning older models required a slightly damp lint-free cloth, but if you get yourself the fancy new screen, all you need is a soft lint-free cloth. In research news, the Register has a story about a new type of memory device that scientists say will store data for a billion years. The prototype was built by a team led by physicist Alex Zettel at the Berkeley Lab, and it involves a nanoscale iron particle about 150,000th the width of a human hair that moves along a carbon nanotube. The iron particle is activated by electric current. When the current stops, the particle is locked in position. The position where the particle is stopped is either a 1 or a 0. That gives you data storage in which 125 gigabytes can be stored on a square inch chip. There's a new iFi card, and this one is called the Pro. It's a four gigabyte card that supports raw JPEG and some different types of video files. The standout feature on the new SD card is that it'll transfer files to a computer without a router, and that makes it especially great for live blogging. iFi Pro is $149 from Amazon.com and www.i.fi. The XP phone is an interesting mobile from China because it runs Windows XP. It has a slider keyboard, a USB port, SIM card slot, and an LCD touchscreen. That's about all we know so far, but a phone that gives you real PC functionality has to have a market. The need for speed, once you've had a taste, can never be satisfied. After you upgrade to wireless in, all your devices with the older cards start to seem so slow. If you're in that predicament and your wireless B or G devices have Ethernet ports, Buffalo has a bridge they'd like to sell you. It's pretty cool. They call it the Infinity Wireless In Dual Band Ethernet Converter. It has four Ethernet ports and it connects wirelessly to your wireless in router to give you a speed boost. Thanks for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye.